Hello everybody, my name is Matt Bissonette. I'm a bass player, singer, right now out on the road with Elton John, even though we haven't been out on the road because of the whole crazy situation, but uh, also with Joe Satriani and Ringo Starr and ELO and different bands, Rick Springfield, different bands like that, and been touring for a long time because I'm old. But i um, been having a blast playing and got called to be the lead singer and playing a lot of bass in the band Darwin, and they asked me to do a how-to video on how we do what we do, which isn't easy to explain, but our goal with the band is to have pretty much harmony sandwiches and things that uh, come out of nowhere vocally and just trying to use every note we can to build these things we call harmony sandwiches. And uh, what happens usually is, is I'll get a demo from the band saying, here's the basic idea and here's the melody and here's some harmonies but pretty much just saying, do whatever you want to do with this and make it your own thing. And uh, there's a lot of notes. And the hard part is figuring out which notes work and which don't and when it's overkill or not overkill. So here's the first step is uh, the vocal microphones. We've got the microphone set up in my studio here. And uh, you know, I use Cubase uh, PC program. And I think the most important part before you do anything is your gear. So I use Cubase, a lot of people use Pro Tools or whatever they use. I think the most important thing is to have a good microphone and a good preamp and a good compressor. Now we work with Simon Phillips, who's the genius of all geniuses about gear. So every time I'll do something at home, I'll call him and say, how was that? And he'll say, well, you know, if it was this, you know, and there's always that back and forth struggle with whose gear is best for this or whatever. And, we all have home studios, so everyone's just doing what they can. But you can make anything sound great just by working on it and just experimenting. So my most important part is a, a good uh, windscreen and a good microphone. And I use the uh, the uh, compressor, the, uh, uh, what is it called, the distressor. And right now I'm using a Vintech Mic Pre, a six, what is it called, a 73. And um, you can tell I'm not a great gearhead, but I just try and figure it out as I go along, which is the main thing too, is that you don't have to know everything about gear and everything about what you're doing. You don't even have to know everything you're playing. You just use your ears because that's what God's blessed you with. So just, just be open-minded and first step is just getting a good sound. All right, so once you got your mic set up and your mic pre's going and you're ready to record, what we do is I get the demo, I load it in and I track out how many vocal tracks are gonna be, usually a lot. So I listen to the song a bunch, try to digest the words, write the words on my computer screen, and then start doing a take. So the first thing we're going to do is focus on a main first verse. And uh, this is coming up here. So then when we get that first verse, we double it and triple it just to make it bigger and stronger. Tune it, use Atari's tuner or uh, Melodyne, whatever it is. And then you uh, start doing harmony sandwiches on top of it. So this is the first verse of future history. Come on. Rewind back in your mind. You find your birth begin your time and then once we get that first verse we double it triple it tune it and make it ready for the harmony sandwich which is the next section so now that we've laid down the the main melody and tripled it tuned it got it to where it should be a really strong melody we have to start uh, building the harmony sandwich, as we call it. So we usually start with the low part and build up from there, because once you get the bottom, the foundation set, we know it's gonna be good for laying higher stuff on there. So right now, we're, uh, we've got a good first verse, and we're gonna get to the second part, and we're gonna check that out and solo that as we go. So here we go. So here's the main melody with the track. Solo that. Oh. 
Now we're going to put the low guys in there for support. That's these guys. Then we start adding all the other parts. Lower part. Okay. And then if we're going to do so, we'll do this in another section. Uh, here we go. So now we're going to solo all the parts together just to see what they sound like. These are all the parts blended together. So the higher harmonies kind of add the intelligentsia factory. And then we start putting in solo. Kind of churchy kind of parts. So it's all about those kind of beatly inflections of different things going on at the same time. You don't necessarily hear them in the track, but you can hear them when you solo. And Simon's a great mixer and he tries to get as much as he can in. And that part is pretty much a yes ripoff of, uh, I think it's Long Distance Runaround or something like that. But the main thing is that we're trying to add these parts to make them musical, but make them rock really hard. You know, that's the hard thing is when you have too many vocals, too many parts, it starts getting kind of wimpy sounding. And Simon always keeps us accountable for that when it gets kind of wimpy. So, but I think uh, when everything comes together at one time, it kind of makes sense and it's heavy and it's beautiful at the same time. All right. So we got all these parts together and we can listen to them on their own and, and hear all the different things that are going on. I'm really, really proud to be in this band and uh, just to be able to sing whatever you want to sing and add parts. It's just really fun and uh, musically challenging and for playing as well. The, the bar for the music is really high and just very, very thankful to be in it. So uh, I hope this makes sense and uh, God bless you. See you. Senses. Feel the shock, electron burn.